Hey everyone, Tom here today. I haven't done a video in a couple of weeks and I thought I'd do one, you know, get back in the game a bit. Today I'm just going to show you a couple um, free tools that can manually remove malware and these two tools that I'm going to show you are free and they don't have any malware based signatures and they they just um, totally rely on your judgment so if you're a novice user and you're not really good with registry keys and all that you're going to need some experience in that I'm afraid otherwise you just really can't use this sort of stuff so I'm going to first of all show you how I check this now this computer right here is infected with a little road called uh, desktop security 2010 it's, uh, not, it's obviously doesn't look infected because um, I've got this computer in safe mode, it's totally awful in normal mode. So I'm going to run hijack this. Uh, um, see if we have some problems here. Uh, okay. um, um, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, hang on. I'll just go to the... Uh, actual uh, executable um, there we go so this is hijacked this anyway um, uh, basically what you want to do the first time that you run hijack this is do a system scan and save a log file um, if you um, make the log file you could send it to someone who knows what they're doing and they could tell you what to delete so anyway I know what I'm deleting because I can sort of just simply tell what's going on so uh, like this right here um, uh, that no that's not a, a rogue sorry no that's something to do something else. Um, there's this one called exe dot exe um, that happens a lot um, in, ma in from malware domain list, the files are very usually called that. Um, this one I can just tell as a rogue. This one I can tell as a rogue. Uh, yep, yeah, that, that one. Um, Microsoft Soap. This and System Windows Sappy AP dot exe. Um, see. The thing is, is that as you can see, the the names are absolutely random. They don't make any sense at all. So, um, desktop security 2010. That's our row security center. Um, blah 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 blah. And fix checked. Fix 14 selected items. This will permanently delete and or repair what you selected. Yes. Uh, then what you want to do is scan again and have a look at the log. And looking at that log, I can now see that this computer, um, when when run with, uh, you still need to run something like malware bytes so your antivirus to get rid of the files and stuff. But with this, it looks clean. So if we just, I'm just going to reboot the computer. I will be right back. Hi everyone, Tom here. We're back and there's this rogue right here called Control Center. Now this unfortunately did not show up in Hijack This and the thing with this is, is it sets itself as, as a shell because what would usually happen is, is that Explorer would um, start. So I, I will actually um, show you how to get rid of this. What you need to do on your computer is um, you need to press Control Lock Delete you'll get task manager pop up and you need to end process called sp.exe click yes and then go to file run explorer click ok and there you go uh, now the rogue um, the rogue uh, desktop security 2010 didn't start because what we've done is we've actually removed the startup entries because if we look in the task manager uh, we can see that all the processes right now are totally clean 
So all we'd have to do now is just run up uh, something like Malwarebytes. I will, however, quickly show you if you can. Yeah, I will have a quickly show you how to fix that um, shell um, thing. So you just type in reg edit. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, okay, um, you go to H key local machine software um, Microsoft. Um, scroll down to Windows NT current version, and then what you want to go down to is WinLogon. Then you see right here this key here called Shell. That's odd. It is already set to explore. Oh well, I don't know what happened there. Anyway, uh, never mind that. <coughs> um, so. Yeah, so what you do now is just run a scan with malware bytes. Also, even if you even if you run a scan with your favorite malware scanner or antivirus first, you want to scan with this afterwards. Now I'm just going to move on to the next one, which is called Free Fixer. I'm going to reset the machine to what it was uh, infected, and we'll see how Free Fixer does. So I'll be right back. Hey everyone, have you restored the machine to its um? Infected state, and I've just downloaded the setup for Free Fixer. It's about one, uh, one point forty-eight megabytes or something. And I think hijack this is smaller. Should have said that. Sorry, but anyway, I'm gonna run this. You just click I agree. You click uh, what you want. Blah 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 blah. Click next. Install. Completed. Does it really really quickly and start Free Fixer. Okay, so it's a very easy, simple to use program. You've got the donate button, uh, donate to them. Kind of really weird. All the buttons are all sort of made of um, hyperlink type things. You've got tools. Uh, you've got file nuker. This will delete files on the reboot. I find that very useful. You've got the start system file checker, which will need your Windows CD. I'm just going to go into settings. Um, I'm going to say load files. And I'm just going to tick those in. Um, I would suggest you do that. The scan takes about five minutes, as it says. So I'm going to start the scan and I will be right back after the scan. Hey everyone, the scan is completed and this is what you'll get as the results. Now, what it does is, is any files that have been modified or any files that have uh, recently uh, been added so new files are listed. So let's have a look. So PC Center SP.exe, that's not right, so repair that. It whitelists some things, I don't know why, so I guess it just thinks, oh, that's okay. Um, these right here, these are obviously the rogue files that we saw in Hijack This, so I'm going to tick all these off to be deleted. So yeah, those can go right there, and it, this actually deletes the files as well. So it's sort of like malware bytes, except that it's like actually uh, just uh, it's only you that's really doing anything. So I'll delete all those, and uh, I'll delete that. That's the actual program we're using. Um, Blah, 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 all this and um, let's see uh, this is not right because it's another random name that's not right it's another random name random name random name random name random random uh, so all these right down here can go because like they're just obviously pieces of uh, the, just, uh, the viruses, malware, um, lols.exe, no, I don't think that's real, do you? Um, win log off, oh, that's a new one. Uh, uh, this one is not right either because that's for desktop security. That one's not right because it's for desktop security. Um, so yeah, it's detected quite a lot of stuff. 
uh, because it's all based on what has been recently altered, as is Hijack This. So after you've made all of your selections for what you need to delete, all you do is you click Fix. You can also save a lock, so I'll save that to the desktop. Uh, and you just click, uh, so again, just make those sure those check, yeah. So you click Fix, and you, cl and you confirm it by clicking Delete forward slash Repair. And all selected items were was successfully repaired forward slash cleaned, uh, deleted. So what you can do then is scan again and see if anything's not been deleted. I'm not going to do that because I know that it has been deleted. I've actually I've actually tested this out. And thanks for watching. Um, I will put the link for the both of these programs that we used in the description. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you like my videos. Thanks for watching. Good night.